Lovable 2.0, smarter, multiplayer, and more secure. They have a brand new UI. Multiple developers can work together to build any application. Chat more just to chat with the application and ask questions. Security scan to make sure there are no security errors. Dev mode if you want to directly edit your code. If you want to make changes to UI, you can do that now by just selecting the element and editing it. Finally, you can publish the application which you have just built. I've been developing websites for the past 15 years and this is by far the easiest way to develop any apps or websites. Here's the website which I've just built. I just asked create a personal website and it created this for me. This is really beautiful and I'm able to view directly from here. Even if someone submits their details in this form, it's automatically getting saved in a database using Superbase. And I'm going to teach you how to do this step by step. First, we are going to ask Lovable to build a website for us. It could be any application just with your natural language. You don't need any coding understanding. You can be an absolute beginner. Anyone should be able to do it. Next, we are going to see how we can connect that to a database to save all the data or the contact form details. And finally, assign that to a domain name. For website building, we are using Lovable. For database, we are using Superbase. For domain hosting, we are using GoDaddy. Let's get started. First, sign up to lovable.dev. Next, Superbase, just for saving your details to database. And finally, go to godaddy.com and then purchase your domain name if you prefer one. So those are the three components we see here. Main requirement to build any application or a website. If you go to Lovable homepage, you've got loads of examples here, which you can go through and get an understanding. Visual dashboards, AI applications, comparison websites, and much more. You can get the inspiration from here. But in our case, I'm going to create a personal website for Mervyn Prison. He's an AI engineer. So that's all I'm going to provide. Nothing more than this. Also, if you have a specific design in mind, you can upload that design image here, or you can even import your design from Figma. And this can automatically match your design. But in my case, I'm not providing any design and let Lovable design for me. So after typing this, going to click the submit button. Now Lovable is working behind the scenes and I can see it's much more faster than how it was before because I even developed applications before this new update. So now we are in the edit mode. We can also go to chat mode if you want to by clicking this one. You have an option here to invite collaborators. So if you want to invite your friends, you can invite them by clicking this one and then adding their email address. You can also save the code which is getting generated here, as you can see here. The whole code can be saved in GitHub by clicking this icon, sync your project to GitHub, and then connect to GitHub, and then you can sync the data. You can also make modification in GitHub and then preview that here. If you don't know about GitHub, it's like a versioning system just to save different versions of your website. And again, you've got the dev mode here. By just clicking that, you can see all the files which got created. And we are able to make changes to these files. But for now, to keep it simple, I'm going to go back to the preview mode. And I find this error. And this is usual when you develop an application. I can even view the logs by clicking this one. And then I can ask it to fix directly from here. So even you can directly click it from here. So all the error message, everything is being taken care of. You don't need to do anything. Everything automatically copied here. Now, based on that issue, it's trying to fix the error. And here is the website. Hello world, I'm Mervyn Prezen, AI engineer and machine learning expert. This looks really nice about me and different strengths, skills and expertise, the technologies I know, professional skills, projects which I worked on, and these are just random, but you can modify this by just asking that here. And finally, get in touch. So now the ultimate goal is if someone fills this form, it should automatically get saved in a database. So that's what we see here. So first step of building the website is done. Now we need to save our data in a database. So first step, we need to create a project in Superbase to set up the database. So go to Superbase dashboard and then create a new project. 
enter your project name, database password, and then a region. And then you can create a new project. Next, come back to Lovable. There at the top, click Superbase. And you should be able to see all your projects here. So I'm going to click Connect and then Connect again. Now it got connected. As simple as that. Now coming back to the chat interface. Now I'm going to say when someone fills the form, save that in the Superbase database and clicking Send. So that's the only information I'm providing. I'm not editing any code or modifying any code. Everything is for absolute beginners. This will automatically give you the list of commands to run to create your tables and then it automatically integrates that with your database. You don't need to write any of your commands or SQL code. Everything has been created. And now if I go and submit details here, so I'm just filling a random information here, my name, my email address, subject regarding Prison AI multi-agents MCP package, help me create an AI powered website. And after that, clicking send message. So now if I come to Superbase, they're going to open my project. There in the database, you can see tables. I'm going to click tables. There, here you can see contact submissions. So I'm going to view all the data, view in table editor. There I can see my details. So here you can see two message. This was my test previous which I did. And this is the latest one regarding Prison AI multi-agents. And the data got automatically added to my database. And everything is managed and I don't need to do anything at all. Now we successfully build the website and all the data is getting saved to database. And instead of website, it could be any of your applications, custom made. And you can save all the data to database and retrieve it later when required. Now the final step is to publish the website or your application. So coming back to Lovable, here you got publish option. So click on publish at the top right hand corner. There it automatically gives you a custom domain which you can use. Here you can see three security issues being scanned. So I can review the issue and it gives me the warning. I can even copy this error message directly from here. Or even if I want more information, I can just open it. Just copy the message and paste it here to the chat. And this is vital because security is being taken care of by itself. So we don't need to worry about anything else. So once after fixing the issue, just click publish and the website is published now. And here is the website. This is really beautiful and I really like it. Considering the amount of effort I had to put in is the minimal amount and I've successfully published it. But now I need a custom domain name. To do that, I'm going to Click the manage. There you got different options. Buy a domain directly from here. So you can enter a domain name like this and check and then buy directly from here. I would say this is the easiest option. But if you have a custom domain already purchased in GoDaddy, you can add your domain name by clicking this icon. Use your domain with the lovable, secure and easy, clicking continue. And I can enter my domain name, mervinpraisem.com and continue. Now it's detecting that it's using GoDaddy. So it's asking me to log into GoDaddy. So once after I log in, it automatically processes the required step to set up the custom domain. And it can guide you through the process. The final things I want to show you is visual edit. So clicking on this edit icon, and then I can click any of the element here, such as machine learning expert. I can modify the content, let's say specialist, and then click save. As simple as that. You can directly modify anything from here. Also, in your preview mode, you got a mobile version testing as well that is available directly from here. And you can check all how it works directly as a mobile interface, simplifying your development process. And I'm really impressed with all these updates, making this things faster and quicker. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Lovable, I also created another video about the beginner's tutorial in Lovable, which I created previously, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.